What's up everyone? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. My name is Edward Lee. I'm a filmmaker and photographer based in Seattle. And yeah, this video is gonna be about kind of this affordable but powerful work from home setup. A lot of us are working from home a lot more, whether you're from a corporate job or you're a creator, whatever it is, a lot of us are at home a lot more. So we want, all want to get our desk setups dialed in. And I think this video will be helpful if you're looking to not go broke for a desk setup. So let's get right into it. So a little context on why I decided to create this setup. It's actually not mine, it's from my dad. Um, if you guys follow my channel, you know that I already have a home office tour video and a desk setup, but my dad, uh, this is my parents' house where I'm filming, that's so why it looks a little bit different. He's been kind of in the market for a new setup and he's been kind of using a bunch of devices like surfaces and things like that. And you know, as a consumer, it can be super overwhelming trying to figure out where to buy stuff or what to buy with all the new gadgets and tech that's out now. So I told him, hey, if you give me a budget of like $1,500, I can try my best and get something set up for you. And that's exactly what we did. So let me break this setup down for you. So at the core of this desk setup, we have the computer and that is the new Mac mini with the M1 chip. Uh, obviously, you guys have probably seen a ton of videos on this computer. I'm not gonna make this video a review on it, but it is pretty quick. And for the price, I, I think you can't, be, you can't really beat it right now. Um, we bought the base model, which was only $700, which in the Apple world, that is really cheap. Of course, $700 is not a little amount of money, but when you compare to like an iMac Pro that I have, that I paid $5,000 for, the fact that this is $700 is super solid. And the fact that it can actually handle video editing, photo editing, um, some kind of semi-intensive creative work, super impressive for $700. Now for the monitor, I opted for the Asus 27-inch uh, Pro Art Display. It's not quite 4K, I believe it's 2560 by 1440 resolution, which makes it, I think, like 2K or 2.7K. But the image quality and brightness and colors are super crisp and clean, I'm not gonna lie. But the biggest reason why I wanted to get this monitor for my dad was because um, the variable angles that you can have with this monitor. You can literally tilt it, you can make it vertical, you can swivel it, you can put it up and down. The stand is just like, really robust um, and you can really put it at any angle that's most comfortable for you because I know a lot of monitors out there can't really adjust the heights and whatnot and it can, can be really frustrating and now with using you know video chat and video call it's really important to get the monitor height dialed exactly where you need it to be. But overall, um, this monitor, I believe, is $290 on Amazon, and it's a pretty solid monitor. I've watched some 4K videos on it, and it looks really, really good, so no complaints there. I would recommend this monitor, honestly. Now, for the wireless keyboard setup, we decided to go with the Logitech MX keys. This is their MX series keyboard. It's super great. Um, if you guys know anything about the Logitech mouse, which we'll get into in a second, super customizable. One great thing about this keyboard as well is that it's backlit. And so a lot of these wireless keyboards are not backlit. So the fact that, you know, in nighttime or when it's dark, you can still adjust the like light on the keys. It's super helpful. Another great feature about this keyboard is just like how seamless it is to connect it between devices. Like they have the three option keys that you can set for multiple devices. So for my dad, I set him up on obviously the first key is for his Mac mini, but the second one is for his iPad. So if he needs to make notes on his iPad and wants to use a keyboard, you can quickly press number two and then type on his iPad with the keyboard. And that seamless integration, in my opinion, is what makes the product super fun to use and super intuitive. Now for the mouse to pair with the keyboard, we got the Logitech MX Master 2S mouse. They actually have up to the Model 3 now, I think 3 or 3S. But you know, obviously, because you know we didn't want to you know go too crazy on the mouse, and my dad doesn't really need all those crazy ergonomics and the updated version, we opted to go for the 2S, which I believe is only sixty dollars, which is pretty affordable considering that the 2S is still an amazing mouse in terms of customizability and ergonomics. The mouse can also be programmed up to three separate devices. So if you have like a Mac Mini, a MacBook, or iPad, whatever it is, um, you can actually hook up your 
uh, mouse to three different devices super seamlessly, similar to the keyboard. Now another great thing about the Logitech kind of ecosystem and why I opted to get the Logitech MX and mouse and keyboard is just because their software is really intuitive and these keyboards and mouses are super customizable. You know, you can really dial it in to fit your exact needs into specific programs like Adobe Premiere Pro, um, which is what I use to edit my videos. You can actually map certain custom functions and buttons on both the keyboard and the mouse for just Adobe Premiere Pro and it would be different in other apps. And this is important because you don't want the same functions and the same shortcuts for all your apps because you have different needs depending on what you're using on your Mac. Now the desk mat that I decided to go for was by ULX Store. This is their black kind of vegan leather desk mat. What I really love about this mat is that it's clean, it's minimal, gets the job done, and um, the size was perfect for this setup. It wasn't too big, wasn't too small, and there was good spacing around the keyboard and the mouse. Um, because a lot of times some of the desk mats can be too small or too big, but this one for this setup specifically was perfect. Now, a lot of you guys can probably relate, but uh, we're working from home a lot more or you're on Zoom a lot more depending on what you're doing. A lot of us are just video calling a lot more, including my dad. So we decided to get a Logitech webcam. I believe this is the C920S, but I'm pretty sure that's the model name. Um, there's actually several models in this lineup but this is like, I think they're like second tier. It's like a 1080p HD webcam. But what's great about this webcam is just the overall ability to set it at the angle that you need to with their ergonomic design. And also it has a mic built into it already. So it's not the greatest mic, but it does get the job done. And in my opinion, probably a lot better than some of those laptop or you know computer mics out there if you don't have like a designated mic for your web chats or web calls. Another great feature about the webcam is that there's like a blue light that goes on when the webcam is turned on or when your video is on. And this is nice because sometimes you don't know if your web video call is on or off or your video feed. So having that blue light as an indicator actually is pretty clutch. And it also comes with this little cover that you can put over it. It's like a little flap. So if you need to like, you know, privacy, if you feel like someone's watching when the camera is even off, you can definitely use that flap and close the camera. So the Mac mini actually does have speakers, um, but they're trash, like literally, do not use the speakers uh, that come with the Mac mini or built into it. You're gonna wanna get a different set of speakers, but I didn't really want to get super expensive ones, um, even though they are nice to have. Like at my home office, I have the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers, which are super solid, but they're also $300. And so I didn't wanna go that route. So I decided to kind of take a gamble and I went on Amazon and found this plug and play speaker for $20. And I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty solid. I use the Audio Engine uh, speakers, and of course they are better, of course, than these $20 speakers, but not 15 times better or the cost difference. I think for $20 and the fact that it's direct plug and play, you get some pretty good audio quality, but hands down way better than the one that comes with the Mac Mini. So for $20, honestly, you can't go wrong. Another thing that's more optional is this uh, USB hub by Anchor. I believe it's like $12. So the Mac mini only comes with two USB slots and that might not be enough for you. So if you need more, you can get something like this uh, and it just plugs into the Mac mini and it opens up four more slots, kind of like a power strip would do, um, but for your computer. Now I know there's other solutions out there that are more you know, pretty or they seamlessly integrate with the Mac mini, but they're also more expensive. They're like $80 or $70. So being able to just like get more hubs really quickly for $12, I think is a big win if you're trying to like save money. So for the desk, uh, we're using this um, manual sit stand desk. It's called the Scarsta, I believe by Ikea. It's just a clean, minimal white desk, uh, but it's not motorized, not all fancy like that. You literally have to crank it manually to go up and down which is kind of a hassle, but if you're on a budget um, and you do want a standing desk, but you can't really quite afford like a motorized one yet, this is a good solution and it looks really clean and minimal, especially if you're going for like a clean looking setup. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up all the pieces of gear that are in this work from home setup. Honestly, I think it's pretty affordable without the desk because I feel like a lot of you guys already have a desk and a chair. If you take out the desk costs, 
we're looking at around $1,300 for this whole setup. Now, of course, that's a subjective. $1,300 might not be affordable for everyone, but when you look at the current climate of computers and like how much a MacBook Pro costs fully maxed out, um, even not maxed out, you're looking at $3,000. Like my iMac Pro that I edit off of at home, that's $5,000. So for $1,300, the fact that you can get webcam, speakers, a computer that can pretty much handle video editing and photo editing as well, as, as well as with the wireless keyboard and mouse, I think it's pretty solid for $1,300. So if you're watching this right now and you've been pushing off, dialing in your working from home situation or your home office setup or your desk setup, take this as a sign to start dialing in your workspace. I think your working environment, whether that's for school, for work, for creative work, is really important. It has a lot more impact on your productivity than you think. But yeah, that really wraps up this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Um, I not trying to turn into like a desk setup channel, but you guys seem to really like the more organization and home office setup tour, like that kind of type of content. And with a lot of us working from home a lot more, I think this was a pretty timely video. And especially because I don't wanna just like show you guys a bunch of expensive stuff like IMAX and a bunch of things that are making you go broke. This is a setup that costs less than $1,500 that I think looks pretty good still. And I just wanted to make that video for you guys because I know a lot of you guys are trying to get your spaces kind of dialed in. But that wraps up this video. If you guys found it helpful, definitely give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like if you're already watching this far and you made it to the end, hit that subscribe button. Come join this like YouTube channel community that I'm building. I'm trying to make more videos. And if you have any questions on the setup at all, leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer as many questions as I can. And if you need links, I put them down below as well to everything I talked about in this video. But other than that, I think that wraps up this video. Um, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye. It's a nice setup. Yeah, beautiful, simple, clean. <laughs>